Alrighty, people, we are on Mold, which is a peculiar name for a map, but whatever. I didn't pick the name. Um, it's kind of like a sav wintry savanna type of a thing. Um, anyways, okay, so we got Grand Monster, who is the challenger, the current challenger in the blue, and he is once again going Thor. All right, cool. Once again going Thor up here in the blue. Bottom left side, we have Shadowfax going Loki. He's our current king going Loki. Okay, interesting. Does this, I don't think, yeah, it doesn't work, unfortunately. Um, anyways, yeah, so this is uh, um, interesting. Again, he's going Loki. I don't think he's in here, is he? No. I don't think he's in here. He's not over here. Hmm. Anyways, um, so yeah, the map is kind of like Savannah. There's pretty good hunt. There's pretty good resources. They are exposed and 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 whatnot. So you gotta you gotta fight for them, kind of like Savannah. Um, it is it is kind of like a wintry Savannah. Very open though. Very open. Not a lot of wood spots. Not a lot of wood spots at all. Oh 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 oh. Oh, ho, 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 so we got the spy on the uh, food vills and almost lost his ulf. All right. Where is that ulf going to go? Dropping a house back there, bro. He could he could deny that house. Are you kidding me? He could deny that house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go. He could deny the house. Hang on. I'll do the prediction. That's true, Benner. He could deny the house. Are you kidding me? Oh, right in the nick of time. What's up? Thanks, Jeff. Everybody, hey, hi, everybody that uh, came from Jeff's stream. Hi, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. That was close. That was, are you kidding me? Come on. That was close. Come on, man. Come on. That was close. <laughs> the clash continues. It does for another couple of hours. It does. Come on, Mike. What's up, Mike? How are you? Man, that was close. That was close. Are you kidding me? So close. Nine HP. Nine HP. If Grand Monster could have killed his Ulfsark back there uh, before building the house, that would have been clutch. Killing his Ulfsark altogether was just clutch. But if he if he were to stop the house back there, that would be crazy strong. Okay, cool. What do we got going? All right, so um, we don't see a ton of the map. I mean, we see, again, exposed forward resources. No surprise there. You know, I mean, at least there's options, gold options for both player. You know, there's gold options, which is good. Forward gold mine for Grand Monster. Not sure if that'll cause an issue for Shadowfax. He's definitely building a defensive temple. Uh, he should, he's definitely going Herseer uh, for Seti raiding as well. So we'll see what Grand Monster can do in defense. Um, pretty good hunt right here. You know, kind of boom, boom, hunt spots, couple of hunt spots right there. Um, again, nice, nice uh, hunt for Shadowfax over here to the right as well. Oh, shut up. Are you kidding me? Back gold mine behind the TC. Back hunt right there. Wow, sick. Super sick little resource clump back here uh, for Shadowfax. Nice. Very nice for him. Very nice. Um, I, I would say, I would say, uh, we haven't seen the rest of the map, but just at, uh, looking at what we've seen so far, I think that um, Shadowfax absolutely has the better gold or the better map. I mean, the gold, first of all, hunt, back hunt, a good hunt patch over here as well. He just seems to have the much better um, um, map for now. For now. Let's see what the rest of the map looks like. Grand Monster could have done the Thor 2 Elf build, indeed. Indeed, and continue chasing him. Continue chasing the Ulf. Is that what you mean, Huacos? Huacos! Skull. Was he outside? Never mind, never mind, never mind. Um, so far, we only see one TC for both players. This guy for a grand monster, kind of out in the middle of, out in the boonies. Out in buttfuck nowhere, just chilling. And then again, we saw uh, Shadowfax's TC, super sick, super killer for him. <clears throat> I like the grand monster built his stuff, and now he's going to um, scout a little bit more. Nice, nice. What are we? We're 60, 70% uh, Freya and for Seti through for Seti for Shadowfax. Okay, 430 and it'll be about 445-ish for Grand Monster. Dropping a longhouse right away. We got the Hearse here going. Forward. Oh, oh, interesting. Okay, so a forward T, pretty forward TC for Shadowfax and a pretty defensive TC back here for Grand Monster. So considering how close that is to the edge of the map, Grand Monster could have a super sick uh, trade route. A little bit better than um, Grand Monster, maybe like 10 gold, 5, 10 gold better compared to Grand Monster. Okay, here we go. Two Herseer in, Troll and the Troll, compared to one Herseer. What are we going to do? What are we going to get? 
Vil fight, gonna pick one off. Boom, one Vil dead. We're gonna get another. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Whoops. Oh! 8 HP, Oof. 75 HP on the troll, Oof. What do we have? One longhouse up thus far. One longhouse for both players, okay, cool. I like this, I like this macro from Shadowfax. I like this macro. Instead of seeing, um, you know, players with just, just dwarves to gold, dwarves to gold, dwarves to gold, dwarves to gold, and eventually you have 30 dwarves running around sucking up gold mines like it's, you know, Augustus Gloop and the Chocolate River. Nice pullback by Shadowfax, but still getting some good, uh, good damage there. Oh, 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 okay. Our Arn, Arn Gear Bear Slugger there in defense, okay. Shaskeggy Rune Slugger and Arnbjorn Root Dancer having to go, uh, getting pushed off of the front of Shadowfax's base, okay. Yeah, man, it's sketchy going for all this hunt over here. It's clutch that he's able to hunt over here, but he's spied. So it's like, well, where do you defend? Do you defend your, um, your fragile gold? Oh, Teddy Bearski, hello. Do you defend your fragile gold or do you go get your hunt? What do you defend, puppy, puppy, puppy? Woo! Ah. Oh, sorry, puppy, sorry. You're slippery, little bubby. There you go, buddy. There you go. Your hands are cold. Where are you outside? Where are you outside on the balcony, puppy? <laughs> ah, delicious. Delicious, okay. What are we watching, dude? What are we watching? Grand Monster's going aggressive. Grand Monster's going aggressive, and we have no Hall of Thanes just yet for Shadowfax. Let me see. He also has a nice beard. He does, and he actually just got shaved. His beard was just shaved recently, so his beard used to look more, even more majestic. Right, puppy? Right, buddy? You're such a cute buddy. You're such a cute little bear ski. Oh, 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 oh. What is that? One veil kill so far? Two veil kill so far, I think. One, two, maybe just two. Oh, the third one. No, oh, that thing is low. That thing is low, baby. That thing is low HP. 29, no, 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 the other one, the other one, the other one. 10, 10. What is that, puppy? What is that? Oh, what relic is this? Flagstone of Boon. Meh, meh. This is not the most wallable map, not at all. Not at all. How are you, puppy? Oops. All right, we're just watching the beautiful dance of Grand Monster's army. We have like, I don't know, do we have maybe an armory from either player? Armory from Grand Monster. We don't know what the resources are, but just going for uh, throwing Axemen thus far. Yeah, this is the awkward thing, man. It's sick to take the hunt, but at the same time, you open yourself up to this bullshit. Right, puppy? You open yourself up to this bullshit, right, puppy? Oh, Teddy Bearski. Here, I have a, I have a, I have a surprise for you, buddy. Can you give me a kiss? Can you give me a kiss? Mm, delicious. Oh, go, 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 go to mommy, go to mommy, go to mommy, go to mommy. Okay. All right, so no, no, no dwarf kills, no dwarf kills, but a little bit of idle time. There we go, there we go. Nice, okay. A little something, a little something. Lost a temple as well. That's free. Uh, that's some delicious favor for uh, Shadowfax. It just rebuilds it in the same place. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. He knows what's coming. Ah, exactly. It's it's uh, it's Poopy Dog Cuddy. The one. The only. What can Grand Monster do? Well, he just needs to keep holding on. Um, he needs to keep holding on and get heroic at a good time. He needs to get heroic at a good time for so that he has Scotty um, in his back pocket. After that, just go maybe two TC Balder. Maybe 2TC Balder. Um, it'll be really difficult for Grand Monster to do any type of gold control since the gold of, Grand, of Shadowfax is super nice. Both have Hoth. No, no, no. Um, Grand Monster meant Freya. So no Hoth. Hot. No Hot. No Hall of Thanes. But um, once his bucket does have it. In fact, yeah, considering Grand Monster went Thor, I'm a little surprised. Don't you remember his game against uh, Mr. Boat on... Um, uh, Borderlands, he went three Temple Herseer and Trolls. <laughs> that, now that's a trolly game. Good God. Herseer and Trolls, holy shit, and three Temples. Anyways, I'm a little bit surprised that he went. This might be big. Oh my God. I'm a little bit surprised that he didn't go Herseer and Temples as well. Oh no. How many is he going to lose? Maybe not everything. Maybe not everything. Maybe a little bit micro from Shadowfax. Wow, shut up. One 
Maybe two? Okay, maybe three. Three veil kills. And he just calls it. And he just calls it. Really? Well, the, uh, <clears throat> are you serious? Will RC be the answer? <sighs> this map sucks. <laughs> Sorry. Loki's wet dream. Uh, well, I mean, still, he could have... Grand Monster could have gone for Seti. I'm gonna ask him, actually. Why no for Seti? Against Loki, you know he he attacked his Ulf. You know he's going defensive, and you know he's going uh, for to build his temple defensively. You know that he's and therefore will be going for Seti. Helps him defend his hunt outside his base. I don't know. I think it was kind of a mixture. Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, it's just kind of fast Loki Herser. What do you do? He can maybe stay in his. <clears throat> he can maybe stay in his base a little bit more. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, okay. So um, Shadow Fax back on the board with um, a uh, two win streak so far. Two win streak. Okay. Let's check the. Um, Let's check the post game real quick. Oh god, okay. <laughs> Oof. Oof. I mean Grand Monster was doing fine on economy, you know, up there until the end. Doing fine on economy, just yeah, really, really uh on the back foot. Really on the back foot with military. I don't know. I mean he could have done Herseer and and uh Herseer and Hack Armor. At the very least, to uh, help defend a little bit better, since throwing axemen are so slow. You know, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Well, let me see if soup's uh, soup's on. I'm gonna give him another little jingle jangle. Okay. No. Problem is the map is so freaking open you can't wall up. Well, I mean, okay. <clears throat> he can still go. He can still go Hall of Thanes. He can still defend. And if he, as Thor, you can get the armory upgrades, and you can still do fine. Well, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. I know. But even so, even so, there's potential there. There's potential there. All right. So let's update um, score number three. Eleven wins for Shadowfax. Eleven wins, people. Eleven wins. Yeah, I know. I'm not saying I'm not saying that Thor would be better per se. Yeah, Shadowfax is no mercy. Um, I'm not I'm not saying that Thor would be better than Loki in that situation, but. Um, I don't know. It's like the throwing axemen are just so slow, you know. They're just so slow, and since his hunt is outside his base, I think if you're gonna go throwing axemen, maybe if you <coughs> if he's <coughs> gonna go throwing axemen, um, just sit in your base, sit in your base, play defense, sit in your base and play defense, and go for an early heroic time, um, play defense with throwing axemen, try and get a couple walls up. If there's a good t good back TC. With um, with good resources around it, that's an option maybe. Um, but I still think maybe one TC is one TC heroic is better the better way to go. And then think about what you're doing. Um, you know, as for uh, an additional one or two TCs, um, I'm not sure. But ultimately, it was good harassment. It was good harassment by Shadowfax. Um, I don't know. Just good harassment by Shadowfax, so. All right, so we're gonna give Mr. Boat a second to, um, to Shadow did, didn't give him the time to breathe. Yeah, that's true. There's, uh, there's Mr. Boat. Real quick, everybody, just in case you were wondering. Just in case you were wondering. So you guys know the god Fre goddess Freya. Freya's role in Norse mythology cannot be overstated. 
One fact about her is that she has the role of <clears throat> she has the role of choosing which Vikings will go to Valhalla. She only chooses half with Odin, the god of war and the dead, choosing the other half. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so Valkyries, Valkyries go and pick up uh, Valkyries go pick up the dead off of the battlefield and take them to Valhalla, and Freya um, takes the actual. Um, Hmm, okay. Um, anyways, yeah, so what was I saying? Valkyries, Freya's in charge of who um, actually, which Vikings go to Valhalla. Um, you gotta die on the battlefield to go to Valhalla, but the actual Valkyries go pick them up from the battlefield and take them to Valhalla. And Odin chooses the other half. I didn't know that. I didn't know that Odin chooses half of the uh, people that go to Valhalla. Freya's a bit like Anubis of Norse. Yeah, seems that way. <sighs> okay, let's update the um, player two as Mr. Boot. There we go. Okay. Am I drinking local Utah beers? Absolutely. Of course I am. Of course I am. They're delicious. They're the best. I love them. They're great. <clears throat> tundra pools. Mr. Boat going to Tundra pools. Okay. We're going to pick the normal ones so that we have the observer functionality and whatnot. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. <clears throat> okay. I need to get my map ready to go. Here we go. All right, people, here we go. Let's see if Mr. Boat can dethrone No Mercy once again on Tundra Pools. All righty, people, as you saw, we are on Tundra Pools. We have Mr. Boat, the challenger in the blue going Odin. And we have Shadowfax in the red, our current two streak king um, playing Loki. <clears throat> Mike, thanks for the follow, dude. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, yeah, both players finding their pools right away. As you guys saw, there's a there's a water pool over here, over there for the other player, and then um, on this side and this side. So there's four water, little pools of water with like four, five, six fishing spots. Um, I guess sometimes only two I've seen, two, three sometimes. So not a ton of fish, but definitely enough to, it's valuable enough to take and boost your economy, which is very nice. Okay, um, yeah, so we got Mr. Let's do, da, 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 there we go. Got our resources going. We got our observer mode engaged. Um, let's look at gold mines, I suppose. Um, Shadowfax did go Loki, or sorry, Loki. There we go. He did go Loki, so it's possible that we could see some nice aggression from him, kind of like what we saw with soup against Shadowfax earlier. Um, some Heimdall action. Uh, Mr. Boat's starting gold mine is nice, however. It is a nice gold mine defensive behind the tower, TC, etc. So, nice gold mine there for Mr. Boat, definitely. This map also has um, a good amount of starting hunt. Yeah, I mean, it, it tundra pools, so it's like tundra, but it also has pools. Ooh, is that six, four, five, six, six fishing spots? Sick. Sick. Super nice. Super nice. I think eventually Mr. Boat's going to want to get a, a daily hopper, a dock over on this top side, just to make those puppies more uh, more efficient. Okay, Shadowfax with his fish as well, of course, of course. What do we got going on? We got four fishing ships for each, nine bills for each, of course, okay. There's not much to say about this so far. Um, Odin against, ooh, actually, 14 goats. 14 goats for Mr. Boat, sick. We only have so far far seven goats for um, for Shadowfax. Not not too sure how many goats there are to find on this map since there's so much hunt and um, the fish. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if there's maybe not even any more uh, goats to find. It's not often um, 
In fact, on, on normal tundra, are there ever any goats to find? I don't think so. You either start with goats or berries, and that's it, right? And here we are, people, here we are. We got a very forward temple by Shadowfax, almost in line of sight of the dock, for crying out loud. So he's gonna wanna, he's obviously, I think, maybe not obviously, I think it's likely. I think it's likely he's going, um, what's it called? He's likely going Heimdall here to just quickly pick off the dock. He could also maybe pick off the dock just going straight Herser. We'll see. Um, we'll see. This is actually, interestingly enough, this is actually what um, Soup did against um, against Shadowfax. Um, when they played earlier. Mercury Mercy, welcome to the stream, dude. Welcome to the stream, thank you for the follow. You must be a fan of Shadowfax, AKA No Mercy, AKA Mystagon, AKA Ori, AKA, um, what is, what was his, Ripple Wiggle? No, he had, a, he had an old, that when I first met him, it was, man, 2009? Wrinkle Dinkle, 2008, Wrinkle Dinkle, I think his name was. Wrinkle something. Wrinkle, maybe Wrinkle. Maybe he's Wrinkle Leader, and Wrinkle Dinkle is a different player. Just a big fan of AOM in general. Hey, same here, dude. Same here. <laughs> same here. Okay, Harold Code Sniffer. Bashing on the dock so far. Let's look at, okay, really defensive. Um, uh, which my bucket from Temple from. Uh, Mr. Boat. Mr. Boat's going up through Freya. He's at 70% there. Heimdall coming in through for Shadowfax. He's just about there. Just about there. Man, trying to use some of those uh, villagers to help keep his, help keep his dock alive. Can he maybe get a longboat out to try and keep his um, keep his fish and, and dock alive? Maybe, maybe not, not sure. The Iron Jar, actually funny enough, going for the uh, going for the wood choppers instead of going directly to the dock. I think I maybe like that, forcing a little bit of idle time on the uh, villagers. I think I like that. That's an interesting idea. I like it. Okay, and here we go. There's the Iron Jar. Here comes a longboat. No mercy, also or Shadowfax, also going with a uh, going with the dock. Interesting. Using undermine as well. All right. Well, that dock's toast. <laughs> That talk is absolutely toast. And there it is. Okay, we got a second one, however, from Mr. Boat. Okay, he's getting his fish. He's getting some replacement fish on this over on this one side. So um, no mercy is going to be able to... Yep, he's already queuing up the fish. He's going to be able to get this six fish right here. And he also has the original six fish um, up on his side. So clear eco advantage here for uh, Shadowfax so far. Longhouse going up for Mr. Boot. Mr. Boot. We have two longhouses going up for Shadow Facts. Okay, Persine even coming in. Man, it's going to be such a huge eco boost for um, for Shadow Facts with all of that fish going. I mean, right now, boom, he's got three going down here plus the six. Um, all of this is idle for Mr. Boat. So right now, Mr. Boat only has one active fishing ship, which is not upgraded. Again, Shadow Facts getting the Persine upgrade um, for his fishing ships. Um, so we're on land, people. We're on land. We are on land with an old fear. I wonder if uh, Shadowfax is going to go for that water as well. Valk over um, on Shadowfax doing a little bit of damage. Oh, -ho! sick. Getting a Vilku right away. One punch Valk. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay, second longhouse going up. Okay, cool. Nice hunt spot in the backs. Excuse me, sick. Nice. Here comes the aggression from Shadowfax. Two longhouses in the temple. He's going to outspam uh, Mr. Boat with only two longhouses in the temple. Again, Loki longhouses building um, infantry faster. Okay, getting a nice blow with a horn right there. Nice. Thank you for the follow. User profile E. Or user profile. Is that how you say it? User profile. <laughs> Ooh, getting a, little, getting a little aggressive there. A little careless, but not quite. Okay. Gonna take down, it looks like he's definitely gonna take down a longhouse. So Mr. Boat, Mr. Boat's already struggling on a little bit of, I love this right here. You see what he's doing with his RC? Ready to flank? Oh God, I love that. I love that. He's still outproduced very much so. He's still very much so outproduced. Does he drop another longhouses? I really don't want Mr. Boat to drop drop more longhouses. Where's his wood? Ugh, he only has four on wood. Oh, bucko. All right, a very behind on wood right now, especially when we're trying to get some fishing ships going. Only four on wood, man. 
Well, I mean, we're equal on villagers, 24 and 24, but still 11 fish upgraded fishing ships for No Mercy and only two active, yeah, two for Mr. Bo. So definitely, oof. Okay, there we go. Two longhouses in the temple. Still, check out the, I mean, it's 75. Popped! Mr. Boat's popped at 75. Shadowfax is, I mean, almost full 115 pop right here. There we go. There's an Iron Jar killed. There's still another Iron Jar and a uh, 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 troll here. This is looking real good, real good for uh, for No Mercy. However, Boat's doing a decent job here. Boat is doing a decent job here, taking some, um, you know, not taking some good kills. It's, it's not a good fight overall, but getting some good kills, I suppose. However, he's still 97 to 52 pop ultimately. Okay. An unnecessary, oh, oh, an unnecessary vil, uh to lose from Boat, but okay. He's on 38 pop, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Two eins? Look, boom, one ein, one ein, two eins. This guy's pretty low HP, but still, reload, dude. Oh my god, are you kidding me? He has no eco! Mr. Boat is down on food, down on wood. Anything that he pops out from these right here. He's just going for vills. Are you kidding me? He's just YOLOing vills. This is like soup style, baby. This is like soup style. Vill fight, vill fight, vill fight. Troll spawn. Sick. Sick. Oh no, 30 to 22 vills! 30 to 22 vills plus the fishing ship difference. Oh no. Oh no, where are we? Where are we? There we go. Mr. Boat, Mr. Boat, Mr. Boat. Mr. Boat is the throne crusher. The throne crusher, Teddy Bearski. Teddy, 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 Teddy. What pack is that? Teddy Bearski. Woohoo! Oh, he's an excited boy. Oh, ho, ho. Did you have fun oh, outside, man. buddy? Oh, good boy. Oh, good boy. Oh, good boy. Oh, good boy. I think this is it, people. And there we go. Time to pray. Yeah, to say the least. What's up, blood? GG. <laughs> Shadowfax is pulling away, guys. He's up to 12 wins. His streak, he's on a three-win streak. Again, his, the, pre, the current like streak um, leader is a tie between Soup and um, Soup and Shadowfax. Uh, all good, how are you? I'm good, dude, I'm good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Einaryar walked all the way over to the goat, killed it, then walked back to the army. I didn't see that, dude. <laughs> that one right there. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Whoops. <laughs> let's check the, uh, let's check the post game. Nice KD for Shadowfax, nice KD. Um, yeah, losing losing your one fish right away, it hurts, man. It hurts for sure. Just seemed like after losing the longhouse, you know, Mr. Boat, after losing the longhouse, he didn't quite, just didn't quite have the production, you know, when they, when they were both transitioning over to land. It seemed like things were equal, things were equal. You know, Shadow Facts definitely had the, a little bit of a food advantage, but things seemed fairly equal-ish. But eventually, eventually, he just locked, I mean, he just couldn't really match the military numbers. Let's look at the actual timeline, the mill timeline. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah. Well, all right, well played to, uh, well played to Shadowfax. There we go. He's up to 12 points, people. He's up to 12 points, and at this point in time, he is all but solidified um, himself as the king of Thimblewinter. Again, Mr. Boat and Soup can catch up if they do so extremely quickly. Um, I don't know. So far, we only have Grand Monster, uh, Mr. Boat, and No Mercy here. Again, Soup, I'll, I'll nudge Soup. I'll nudge Soup, but he went offline. And Rapple also is offline, so we only we have the three left. Haha. Uh, <laughs> Oh, Grand Monster, Grand Monster, Grand Monster. Oh, hey, user profile E. Hey, I see your stream in there, dude. Hey, what's up? Okay, Grand Monster against Shadowfax. Here we go. At this point in time, here's, here's what we're going to do, people. Here's what we're going to do. 
because since um, Soup and Rapple left, we're gonna give Shadow Effects. Well, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a tiebreaker. I, I, I think we're gonna have a tiebreaker between Shadow Facts and Soup to see who can um, ultimately who can ultimately take the prize for the longest streak. Because right now they're tied at four to four. But if Shadow Facts just it continues playing and cleans up, he might ultimately take both prizes. He might ultimately take both prizes. So I wanna I wanna give Soup a chance since he was, you know, popping off today. I think Freya already took Rapple and Soup off the battlefield. Ooh, Cuddy. Cuddy with the Norse reference. Nice. <laughs> so... I choose map. Yes, I'm on... Uh, am I on three or four? Three. Three. Shackled by fish breath and kitten footsteps. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, let's pick a map. Um, <clears throat> for the sake of Grand Monster, let's pick a normal map. We'll go with... Should we go with Tundra? Should we go with Ghost Lake? Um... We'll just go, we'll go with Ghost Lake. We'll go with Ghost Lake. We haven't seen Ghost Lake for a minute. Nothing weird for GM. So GL it is. Ghost Lake it is. Ghost Lake it is. Okay. Um, well, yeah. So I don't have the, the, the event... Um, is supposed to end in 30 minutes. So that means, I, well, I guess with having that said, that means Shadow Fax has the opportunity. Shadow Fax has the opportunity to um, take the win streak. Just here. Build a wonder. All righty, everybody, we are back on good old fashioned Ghost Lake. Good old-fashioned ghosts, like none of this weird mold stuff, none of this weird Siberian winter stuff. Good old-fashioned ghost lake. Um, so we got Grand Monster in the blue. He is our challenger playing Thor. Um, and we also have Shadowfax, our current king, on a three-win streak, might I add, um, playing Thor as well. So we got a Thor mirror. Okay, interesting. And first and foremost, most importantly, boom, boom. We got two starting gold mines in the base. So this game has the potential to maybe go a little bit later. Um, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what TC placement is like, additional gold mines, etc. blah, blah, blah. But, you know, with the two starting gold mines in your base, it's a lot less likely to get gold stuff. Let's see. Let's see. Second place should fight you. Ooh, you will be the Freya who allows them to, to Valhalla or not. That's a fun idea. That's actually a fun idea. But then I can't cast the game, dude. If I'm playing, I can't cast the game. Maybe I should have all the other challengers cast the game. <laughs> all right. Super nice group of 10 caribou. Um, for Shadow Facts, it's very far forward. He did find his boars. Um, he has two, however. Two? Actually, oh, sick. Are you kidding me? Okay, so up on Shadow Facts's map, we got boars right here. We have 10 caribou right here. And then on the north side of his map, boom, we got another patch of, t of caribou. We're not entirely sure how many, but we do see some. Also, the Staff of Dionysus. Villagers carry more food. That is definitely a good one to get. 
over here for Grand Monster. Grand Monster is actually going for the forward caribou first, and he has the boars back there that he'll go for, I suppose, second. And same story, <clears throat> excuse me, back on this bottom side, boom, we got ourselves a caribou, okay. Or a patch of caribou, rather, patch of caribou. That's a decent idea, Huacos. That is a decent idea. Uh, maybe if there's a tiebreaker, if there's a tiebreaker, if they, if we need a tiebreaker, I can play one v ones against uh, Soup and um, Shadowfax, and um, depending on, depending on the results, that I suppose can determine who gets um, the uh, streak prize. Okay. Um, did I see another relic? I know we got the Staff of Dionysus over on that top side. I don't think I see a second relic just yet. Um, let's talk TCs though, let's talk TCs. So, Shadowfax, our king, current king, our current king on the throne. Um, bottom TC, you know, pretty, to, pretty. I mean, whatever. It's it's not like exposed, it's, you know, it's, 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 it is what it is, normal TC. Um, his other TC on this top side, however, Pretty exposed over here. Pretty exposed. This gold mine as well, pretty exposed. The gold mine and TC, his second gold mine option and TC, pretty darn exposed. Pretty darn exposed. Speaking of exposed gold mines, hello. Not only is there an awkward wood line behind it, hello forest fire potential, but also that's like right next to the uh, right next to the ice. That's definitely uh, awkward. Shadow simps make some noise. Who? What do you mean shadow simps? Oh, Shadow Facts. <laughs> Make some noise! <laughs> all right, Tease, all right. Um, anyways, it's, it's a pretty comparable map, I think, between the two players. Um, bad gold mine, bad gold mine, you know, exposed forward TC, um, you know, near the ice, exposed forward TC and near the ice. Pretty same similar story for both players. Um, as for additional gold mines, however, we already looked at this one right here for Shadow Facts. And then across the ice, we got this one right here for Grand Monster. Down on the bottom side, however, there's two more. Boom, boom. Um, this one first, I suppose. Right on the other side of this big forest from the uh, TC of Grand Monster. And then this one down here, just a scooch. There we go, a scoosh further down. That one is Shadow Faxes. So I think this is a nice little territory right here to take. If you're if you're able to control this territory, you could easily get some walls and whatnot to deny the gold mine of your opponent. Um, I guess you know this is Shadow Fax denying it from Grand Monster. Similar story for Grand Monster. If he controls this, throwing up a couple of walls and controlling that area in general. So that'll be interesting to see how that shapes up, honestly. <laughs> Oh boy, dude, what are you doing? Oh, oh! Man, almost losing an Ulfsark. Jeez, caught right in the nick of time. That TC definitely, um... Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! We got, we got, whoa, wait, what? Is he already up? He's gotta already be up. He is already up. Okay, Grand Monster, sorry, I totally missed the advance time. Grand Monster is already up. I'm not sure when he was up, like 4.40, 4.30, something like that. And Shadowfax is up really late. He's up at five minutes. Oof. Only six on food, that's interesting. So we did a 656 build order? Interesting, okay, interesting. Well, Longhouse already up for Grand Monster, getting the RC out, okay, sick. Uh, Longhouse going up for Shadowfax, okay, cool. Oh ho ho, we got a Valkyrie, ooh hoo hoo. Got a Valkyrie doing a little bit of wood damage there, nice, nice, nice. Valkyrie for Shadow Facts, heading out to the other side of the map. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, what's it gonna find? What's she gonna find, rather? And the lone hunt here, just chilling. Just chilling, a bit exposed. There are Herser coming to defend, chasing the Valkyrie. Okay, Ulf Shield Builder, nice, nice. Hey, here's the other relic, the Ring of Nibelung. Oh, interesting, provides a small trickle of gold. Nice, that's a good one for sure. Which relic would you rather have, Ring of Nibelung or Staff of Dionysus? Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. We saw Shadowfax. This is reminiscent of Shadowfax against Bolt, or Boat, Mr. Boat. Oh man, are we gonna have another sick forest fire? Vilkill! Come on, come on, come on. Forest fire. Vilkill for Grand Monster, sick, very nice. Okay, moved over, or forced onto the berries, whereas Grand Monster, boom, he's uh, taking the boar, used this caribou. Taking the boar, nice, okay. Little little advantage for Grand Monster so far, little advantage. One vill advantage. 
look how equal these guys are. 50, 50 to 51, 53 now. Um, population and one villager difference. So, so similar. So similar. Okay. I like the walls, though. I like the walls. Um, it'll, it'll allow him to, first of all, get the berries for free. Eat the berries for free. And also, eventually, his TC, once he decides to take the TC, um, you know, he'll, he should be able to take the TC fairly easily with the walls. Of course, you could break through walls, but, you know, at least you're aware of that and can go defend. Okay, I like this wall from Grand Monster. You don't don't allow you know uh, no mercy to or um, shadow facts to sneak in from behind. Medium medium uh, raiders from Grand Monster already. <clears throat> Excuse me, medium raiders from Grand Monster already. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, by the way, by the way, by the way. So we see ten. 11 because there's one goat dead right there and 12 13 if he gets those two so 11 or 13 goats compared to 8 9 10 i think there might be 11th one that was in there so i think they had similar uh babino come on babino oh, oh, oh this might be sick uh similar similar goat numbers at least similar goat numbers which is good to see okay this is oh, definitely more raiders in here for gram or shadow facts a little bit sketchy for Grand Monster here. Uh, Shadowfax, try or sorry, Grand Monster trying to go in and hit the wood line, I suppose. Okay. Getting some RC numbers there to defend. Okay. No Vil Picks just yet. No Vil Picks, no Vil Picks just yet. What's that? Uh, Ticani's be, uh, Babino. Ticani's more. Babino, X is Okay, interesting fight that's going on here. Hurts are getting some sick damage on the Valkyrie. Okay, yeah, I think I Shadowfax definitely stayed there a smidgen too long. A smidgen too long. He did the damage by kicking him off of Hunt and forcing the Vils to go just completely back to his base. He did the damage. He stayed there just a smidgen too long, um, taking a little bit, a few too many hits and um, losses than he really needed to. But still, good raid, good raid. Forcing a lot of idle time. Nice. Um, it is nice, however, that Grand Monster, he's headed back out, going to his uh, other caribou patch, whereas no mercy, or shadow facts, no caribou for him. At least not for now. No caribou for him for now. No caribou for him for now. Okay, trying to bust in, hit the berries, okay. <clears throat> Interesting, 30 to 32, so Grand Monster somehow has pulled, a, uh, you know, has is ahead by two villagers now. And more like half a villager, because like 31, 32... So I had it by like half a villager or so. Lots of damage on the Valk. Almost a full HP Valk for Grand Monster. Almost a, you know, almost a dead HP Valk for uh, Shadowfax. However, we got a group of three uh, raiders back here behind Sh uh, Shadowfax. Let's see what kind of damage these raiders can do. They are, <gasps> Teddy boy, hi buddy. They are medium. So there's only three, but they are medium. So they're, you know, they're a little scary. Hi puppy, hi puppy, hi puppy. Okay, interesting, interesting. Force and shadow facts off of the berries, okay. Grand Monster looking pretty good in this game. He's re-looking pretty good. Shadow facts is getting copper mail, interesting. Oh shit, okay, so uh, Grand Monster, the first one with copper mail. Oh shit, oh shit, what am I missing? What am I missing? What am I missing? What am I missing? No forest fire, no forest fire, but probable, a probable vil kill here. Um, that guy, ooh, 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 can he garrison real quick, can he garrison real quick, can he garrison real quick, are we gonna see to you? Oh, got one, only got one, okay, well, you take what you can get, nice, nice, nice little raid there from Shadowfax, nice, going for his additional town center here, interesting, 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 this is particularly interesting because Shadowfax and Grand Monster are both originally vanilla players, of course, they mainly play Gold Mines Out. Of course, they mainly play the expansions these days um, on Vubly, a little bit on Extended Edition here and there. So they mainly um, play the expansions, but ooh, a second Valkyrie there from Shadowfax, sick. Um, but it's, it's a little bit interesting to be casting a game with vanilla players on TT. Trying to heal up his, uh, trying to heal up his raiders with Thundering Hooves, hello, sick. Super sick. This is, oh man, check out this big group. 26, 25 raiders and a Valkyrie. 
Compared to right here, we got 15 and two Valkyries. However, both have the hack armor upgrade. Ooh, copper weapons for Shadow Fax. But we do have, um, what's it called? We do have Thundering Hooves from Grand Monster. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Boom, boom. Two Vil kills. Two Vil kills. So, um, once, okay, two Vil kills, which puts Grand Monster um, ahead in Vils again, but still the second TC from Grand Monster. Or, sorry, from Shadow Fax. Who used, man, I wish I could see in the chat, who used their forest fire? Shadowfax uses forest fire, okay. Taking a big fight here, important fight. We got thundering hooves and hack attack and hack armor from Grand Monster, and we do not have, oh, we have the same. We have the same between both players, but what, do we have more numbers? It looked like uh, Shadow, or er, Grand Monster was cleaning that up. A nice fight for him, it looked like. It looked like still has almost 30 units right here compared to the smaller army from Shadowfax. What can we do? What can he do? What can he do? A couple of units down there, just chilling, okay. Grand Monster taking the fight and chilling, okay. Both these players not wanting to engage too terribly much. There are two Valks here, however. Again, this lady's almost dead, but there still are two Valks here for Shadow Facts. Only one for Grand Monster. Grand Monster gonna be behind with his second TC, but he is taking it. Only four Vils from this thing uh, just yet. Um, bronze mail, bronze mail, interesting. Bronze mail coming in for uh, Grand Monster at 54%. He needs to, uh, yeah, he's trying to wait just a minute for the uh, for the upgrade to come in. Boom, and then turn around and maybe take the fight, possibly. We'll see. 45 to 42 vils again. Bronze mail coming in. Let's double check Shadow Facts real quick. Okay, no armory upgrades coming in for Shadow Facts. Here we go. We engaging, and bronze mail is in. There we go. Is it going to take the fight? Is it going to take the fight? Maybe not. Just going through the gate. Live to fight another day. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Couple of couple of losses there. Okay. Good picks. Good picks. Good picks. Good picks by Shadowfax. Good picks. Two to two TCs, people. Two to two TCs. Okay. Forty four vils for Grand Monster. Forty five vils for Shadowfax. Scotty. Scotty for Shadowfax, and Bronze Mail for um, Grand Monster. So very, very interesting nuance, nuance differences here. There we go. This is the uh, forest fire from Grand Monster. Okay. Don't know if that was necessary. Don't know if that was necessary. Shadowfax easily moved away from it. Okay. This is messy. The throwing axemen. Um, a lot of these RC are just milling around, whereas throwing axemen are able to do a lot of just kind of consistent damage um, against Grand Monster. However, Grand Monster does have the armory advantage since he does have the bronze mail. Boom. There's Scotty in for Shadow Facts. Reinforcements from both players coming in. It looks like Grand Monster is taking over. Two Valkyries out for both players. Okay, a little Valk battle right there. How you like that? This Valk is still alive somehow. Are you kidding me? Somehow still alive. There we go. Grand Monster cleaning up the army of Shadow Facts. Are you kidding me? Copper, or er, sorry, bronze weapons and bronze mail. There we go. Boom. Retreat, retreat. Grand Monster even going for a third TC. Are you kidding me? Check out the upgrades. Plow, Winter Harvest, Shaft Mine. For Shadow Facts. Ahead in villagers, ever so slightly. So he's is he he's starting to drop his farms. Sick. Farms already dropped for Grand Monster. Okay. So um uh Shadow Facts definitely gonna have that um eco advantage. Eco advantage. For now. For now. The third TC will help him uh, Grand Monster pull away in bills. Um, we'll see. Oh, 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 and raids. Yeah, man, these gold mines are exposed. Speaking of gold, it just ran out for Grand Monster, so he needs to find one. Trying to go to this gold mine from his new uh, second TC. We shall see. Okay, getting a couple of picks. Okay. A little bit of awareness movement from Shadowfax. Liking it, liking it, liking it. Nice. Nice. The Frost Giants. Frost Giant spam from Shadowfax, okay. Well, it's not necessarily a spam. He had just one free one and then one additional one. Okay, okay, okay. So many ca cavalry. Are you kidding me? Oof, 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 oof. Shadowfax going for heavy cav. Shadowfax going for heavy cav. He doesn't necessarily have a lot of cav. I guess he has, he has a good amount, but I guess compared to Grand Monster, not a ton. Gonna maybe see these vills. Oh, man. The luck. The luck. Oh, does he see? Oh. Is he gonna see? He does not see, okay? We, uh, however, we do have some medium R, uh, RC from Grand Monster doing some shenanigans, I guess we can call it, on the tower. Okay, going to try and play some defense on the heavy raiders, okay? 
I think Scram Monster needs to chill, man. I think he needs to chill, not take fights. Not take fights. He has a good amount of raiders. He has a good amount of raiders. Um, they're not going to trade very well against the heavy raiders. Okay, interesting, interesting, interesting. Will we see a Vil fight here? Will we see a Vil fight? What is going to happen if, again, if Grand Monster can control this area and these two gold mines, that might be very important. Um, I mean, there is this exposed gold mine here. Again, this one. Oh! <gasps> Market. Shadowfax is going for Fimble Winter. He's got to be going for Fimble Winter. There's no way he'd go for a tier. There's no way he'd go for a tier. <clears throat> what? Or, sorry. Or, there's no way he would go for Balder. He's going tier. Okay, we got tier from Shadowfax coming in. We got tier from Shadowfax coming in. And Grand Monster is not even... Um, he's not even heroic yet. There's a Frost. Oh, God. Oh, no. There's a Frost. Or if you're a fan of Shadow Facts, oh yes, oh yes, frosting the army, which allows them to uh, try and get some dwarf picks on the gold, forcing at least idle time at the very least. But still, Grand Monster has such a huge army, so many RC. He's it's only half, roughly half of his army, maybe two thirds, maybe two thirds of his army that are um, they're frozen right now. So yeah, he just moves over to the other gold mine. Wham bam, thank you, ma'am, no problem. Oh, tier is halfway in, baby. Tier is halfway in. Grand Monster's getting close with the food to go up, but again, his gold has been hurt. His gold has been hurt. So what will he do? Yeah, what? Man, Shadowfax is at 100 pop, people. 100 pop compared to full 145. Like, what? The Frost? Was the Frost worth it? I don't know, man. I don't know if the Frost was worth it. And at this point in time, Shadowfax, or sorry, um, Grand Monster. Man, I'm mixing these guys up so much. Grand Monster with his, uh, he has so many RC. He can just run. Okay, first of all, he's going to block that. But he can just run over. He can fight under the hill for fire. He can fight under the hill for fire. Boom. Go for some gold pressure. Okay. Okay, deleting the TC. So a delay, there's Fimble Winter. Boom, there's Fimble Winter, baby. Scotty just coming in for Grand Monster and Fimble Winter in just now for Grand or for Shadowfax. Boom, there's one, two kills. Oh no, this could be bad, this could be bad. Or this could be good, this could be good. Look at all those Vils dying. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 13, it looks like 13 veil kills, plus all the idle time. Wow. Plus getting some kills on the uh, army as well. This was a good Fimble Winter. That was a really good Fimble Winter, in my opinion. Cuddy calling the GG? I don't know, dude. He's got three TCs. <sighs> He's got two and a half TCs, people. Two and a half TCs, almost up through Scotty. He can replace those, the 13 bills or whatever that he lost, he can replace those fast enough from his three TCs. Uh, in a minute or so, he can replace them. But again, you know, that is 13 uh, villagers dead. That, it, it's, 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 you know, that's substantial. Okay. Third TC almost up for Shadowfax. I mean, here's the thing. Gold control, baby. Shadowfax is out of gold, man. He doesn't have control of this. He doesn't have control of this. So gold control. He's at one, he's at 68 gold. He's at 68 gold. Can Grand Monster pull this off and dethrone Shadowfax? Can he do it? Okay. Shadowfax starting to catch up in e uh, armory upgrades still. Bronze. Bronze hack. Um, armor and attack for Grand Monster. The Jarls are sick. The Frost Giants are sick. But for crying out loud, Grand Monster, he's ahead. Oh, no! Grand Monster's behind by 10 bills. Can he continue on? Here come the dwarves. <laughs> What's up, Morpheus? How you doing, man? I don't know. I don't know. The hill fort right here is going to be super sick. Um, I mean, just look at all the units streaming from, well, from Shadowfax. They were streaming across. He's, well, no, he hasn't hit his pop limit yet. He does have fortified TCs, though, so 160. Grand Monster still on 145. Okay, dwarves are getting their shanks out, man. They're going for it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I forgot that Grand Monster still has his frost. Going for the Vil picks, ba or Dwarf, I guess the Dwarf picks. What's it gonna get? What's it gonna get? There's what, two maybe on the line? There we go. There's two and plus uh, there's some that I think are frozen here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boom, right there. There's a little clump of them. There's some of them around. 
Three Frost Giants, however. Three Frost Giants and some Jarls from Shadowfax. This is looking good for Shadowfax. Um, the game is not over. Grand Monster is still very much alive, but Shadowfax, it's looking good for him if he can get gold going. He's got some trade going. 32 gold. I guess you take what you can get. <laughs> See, I guess he could sell resources. But a gold starve, a gold starve might be the win condition for a grand monster. Why dwarf Canada spare speed? <laughs> yeah, right. Zip, 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 zip. Look at all, look at all the dwarves. They're just chilling, man. They're just chilling. They're just chilling. I mean, the fight's looking good for Shadowfax, but he's not. He's running out of gold, man. He's running out of gold, and eventually the market prices. Whoops. Eventually the market prices. Yeah, look, look at the wood. 58 gold, or no, 22, 22, is that how it works? 22 gold for every 58 you sell, is that how it works? Grand Monster, I mean, this is a consistent fight, man. This is a consistent fight, and it looks like it's going Grand Monster's way. He's got this, this is a shadow fax, it's just like, I need it! Sending gold, or the dwarves over for, uh, for the gold. Heavy Raiders for Grand Monster. Man! Shadow, this is looking sketchy for Shadow Fax. Again, Shadowfax trying to go for that five win streak to get the um, to get the top prize, the most wins prize, and the streak prize. Losing all his gold, however, losing all his gold. A big win condition for Grand Monster is Ragnarok. So not only is uh, Grand Mo or sorry, not only is Shadowfax trying to survive without gold, without a gold mine, but he's also has a uh, Ragnarok on the horizon. I don't know if uh, we got fortified TCs coming in for Grand Monster. I don't know if Grand Monster would pick tier. I mean, he's up to 72 vills, so it's not like he has a shitload of um, it's not like he has a shitload of vills. But you know, when there's no defense against a, a Ragnarok, it's deadly, man. It's deadly. They're they're sharing gold, man. They're sharing gold. He's he's desperate. What is this lady doing, lady? Weird fight, man. It's just a weird fight. There's the market for Grand Monster. We'll keep an eye on... I mean, his resources are still so low. His resources are so low. He's not going Mythic anytime soon. It doesn't seem like so much consistent fighting, 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 fighting. <clears throat> Speaking of fighting, we got... Hey, he just calls it. And he just calls it. Are you kidding me? We have another... Uh, Grand Monster has dethroned... What a shithole map. <laughs> Two started gold mines, bro. I mean, the gold was bad, it's, it's true, but it's not like Grand Monster's gold was that much better. Gold there, gold there. It just seemed like Grand Monster at one point in time, well, once Grand Monster had bronze mail and bronze weapons, he was just uh, um, around kind of the mid game and he took the, he was taking fights and you know, Shadowfax lost the fight here. And aside from the map, too many frost giants? Mm, potentially. I think the frost giants kept him in the game, but they are very costly. Um, gold, of course, gold. Um, Grand Monster got his soul back. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, well played by Grand Monster. Well played by Grand Monster. I think this is the first time Grand Monster actually um, has... Um, no, how many wins does Grand Monster have? Grand Monster has two wins. Okay, he has two wins. Let's check the let's check the post game. Let's check the KD. Okay. Good KD. I mean the again, Fable Winter Wolves contributing to the uh, units lost here for Shadow Facts. So yeah, Grand Monster, barely positive KD, but you take what you can get. He was on point from the start. Yeah. Yeah, Grand Monster really played this well. I think Grand Monster played this well. Um you know, he had some good damage, the mass RC, he um, you know, he was cautious with his RC. He was cautious but still was able to do some damage, took some good fights. Uh, maybe maybe Shadowfax took some fights he shouldn't have, particularly this one right here. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure if I like the tier. Um, going tier for Shadowfax, I'm not sure about that one. Because that's a thousand gold that you invest. And when gold is a problem, I don't know, I feel like maybe you know getting a third TC, staying in Heroic a little bit longer, getting some armory upgrades, setting up a trade route, maybe that would have been a little bit more safe rather than the early tier. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not 100% sure, but well played. Well played, well played, well played to, um, to Grand Monster. So Grand Monster's on top, people. 
well not on top but he is on the throne for now with a one win streak number one there we go there we go uh yeah two was bad problem is i didn't know where his large minds were i thought he was in base all game and i had to hurt his three um tc play mm. i suppose that's a good point what's up kakat that's a good point but still with i mean if you've scouted enough of the map you know gold is definitely an issue gold is definitely an issue come on mike Come on, man. No, more like, come on, Shadow Facts. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? Yeah, okay, here we have it. Um, 